In this video, we will be utilizing the Adafruit NeoPixel ring containing 12 NeoPixels, and we will be running the demo uh, that comes in the example code um, from the Adafruit NeoPixel library. And here is a complete setup, uh, the final product of what we will be creating. So here we have the Adafruit Gemma, and this is the Adafruit NeoPixel ring and uh, we will be using the data 1 or the data 0 on the Gemma we will be using the 3 volt um, pin on the Gemma and we'll be using the ground pin on the Gemma the 3 volt is going to go to the uh, 3 volt connection on the NeoPixel ring. The data 1 is going to be going onto the um, input of the ring and ground will be going to ground. So here's a quick look at the circuit diagram. As I mentioned, the ground goes to ground, the data 0 goes to input, and the 3 volt goes to PWM. So I start out by soldering uh, 3 wires needed to um, power the uh, Adafruit NeoPixel ring onto the Arduino Gemma. I'm soldering one onto ground, data zero, and three volts. Right. The next thing I do is solder on wires to the actual NeoPixel ring at the ground, PWR, and N locations. Next I start adding the Arduino Gemma and the NeoPixel ring onto the breadboard and wire it according to the diagram. and here's what it ends up looking like. Notice I did solder on a wire onto data 1 on the Gemma, but that wire will not be used in this project. Now the next thing you want to do is download the Adafruit NeoPixel library. We're going to start doing the programming from the computer. So just go down um, this is from GitHub, and I'll leave the link in the description. And just choose the download zip button. Now open up the Arduino program and go into Sketch, Include Library, and then choose Add.zip Library. Now choose your downloads folder and the Adafruit NeoPixel uh, zip file and now it says that it is included in the menu. So now if you go into file examples and go down you should see the Adafruit NeoPixel libraries right here. Um, sometimes depends um, previous ones libraries I've added were added down here I'm not exactly sure why this one was um, added up here but anyways, um, we can go into um, the strand test one, and this one does all sorts of cool um, effects and things as seen in the first video. And so if you take a look at this, um, it just does some initialization for the NeoPixel um, library, um, and then it starts um, doing certain effects and if you if you look here you'll see there's a define pin 6 and instead of pin 6 we're using pin 0 uh, which was shown in the in the diagram for the data pin and here it's using 60 as in 60 LEDs uh, that's used for like a strand a neopixel uh, strand of lights 
but the NeoPixel ring um, with the 12 is just 12 LEDs. So you can change that to 12 if you're using the ring like we are in this project. And then from there, that's pretty much all you can, um, if you're using the Gemma, make sure that your board is set to, to Arduino, Arduino Gemma, and that the programmer is set to USB Tiny ISP. Now, if you don't have those options, then you'll need to get the latest version of Arduino. And at least at the point of this video, it is version 1.6.5, at least for Linux. Also, keep in mind if you have the teal version of the Arduino Gemma, then the programmer will actually just be Arduino Gemma instead of USB Tiny ISP. But we're using the black version of the Arduino Gemma, so you use the USB Tiny ISP. Now we're actually going to upload to the Arduino Gemma. In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to set up the Gemma on Arch Linux. So if you wanted any of that information, I can leave that video in the description. Um, apart from that, I'm assuming that you have it set up on your computer. And before we can upload it, you have to press the button on the Arduino Gemma. And then it causes the red LED on the board to blink and it, uh, to fade in and out. And it gives you about 10 seconds to upload to the board. So what you want to do right now is um, just first you should check to make sure that the um, code has no errors by doing the verify button and this will just compile it and then whenever you need to upload it won't take um, a longer time uh, to compile and then upload. It can just upload. So now press the button on the Arduino Gemma and then choose upload and here you can see um, on Linux like I've said in the previous video this um, error here input output error is not a problem it doesn't um, interfere with anything on the actual uh, Gemma it's actually has finished uploading with no issues now here's what it will look like when it's uploaded. It will just start, um, it will take a couple of seconds to upload and then start up. And then it will start running the demo. It's got some pretty neat animations. Now let's take a look at one more of these example codes. So go into File, Examples, and under the Adafruit NeoPixel library, choose the Simple Program. And the reason I bring this one up is because it's a lot easier to understand. Um, so let's just go through this real quick. Um, so it's including all the libraries that it needs, and then um, here we define the the pin number which we set to zero and then for numpixels um, this time it's actually uh, as a variable and just put it as 12. Here it initializes the NeoPixel library um, as an object and then it um, is setting a delay value that's for um, the speed of the animation and then here in the setup which is the first thing to be called um, it sets the CPU frequency um, for us uh, for the trinket. It's a special piece of code, and then it calls pixels dot begin. That actually starts the um, the library. Tells it to actually start going, and then the next thing that is repeated repeatedly called is the loop. Um, this this method is called over and over. Um, once it finishes one time it just calls itself again. And here we can see uh, the a for loop which just 
sets all the pixels uh, to green. So as you can see, this is R, G, and B for the pixel dot set pixel color, pixels dot color. It it goes from zero to two fifty five for each of the values, and then it calls pixels dot show. This just updates um, the the LEDs after you choose set pixel. You got to call show in order to update the LEDs, and then it's um, doing a delay of five hundred milliseconds um, until it so it delays and then it will call go through the loop um, the next um, interval and it starts by setting the next LED to green and as you can see by this loop um, it's a for loop and it starts with I equals 0 and ends at I equals 11 so as you can see if I is less than a num pixels num pixels is 12 then it continues through the loop and then with the I++. Plus plus. Um, so here you can see the I is being used as the pixel number and the pixel number range for a 12 LED NeoPixel ring would be 0 to, to 11 not 1 through 12. Um, so 0 would be the first LED and, and uh, 11 would be the last LED. So once again, let's upload this onto the device just so you can see what it does. So I'm going to press the button on the uh, Gemma and choose upload. So now let's take a look at what it actually does. So it's about to start up and here you can see it just starts up all the green pixels and then stops. So this is it, it doesn't do anything after this. This is the final position. Uh, but that can be easily changed in the code. Let me just real quick show you how you could clear all the LEDs afterwards and then um, the animation would restart. So if you wanted the animation to continue, um, what you could do is after uh, the loop setting all the LEDs to green, um, we could copy that loop and paste it and then instead of setting the pixels to green we can set them to uh, the dimmest or zero 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 um, for no for no LED value and then try uploading and you'll see what happens So now you can see as soon as it reaches all green values, it just um, undoes what it just did. And it just goes blank and then repeats the animation. So there's a simple, um, simple control of these pixels, just shows you how you can use them. And well, I think that's about it for this video. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, just let me know and please subscribe if you like this type of these type of videos. Thanks again for watching.